All right, now we're going to splint a dislocated elbow. Sometimes with the dislocation, your joint could be immobile, can't move it, so you're going to have to splint it like you find it. So in this particular case, Sheila has dislocated her elbow in the bent position. First thing we're going to do is check pulse, assess our circulation. Ma'am, can you wiggle your fingers? Motor. Which finger am I touching? Pinky. Pinky. If I could have my partner come and stabilize her elbow. This time, I need two padded board splints, which I'm going to set right there, while I get one triangle bandage that I have folded into a long strand. I'm going to put it across the middle of her elbow first. It's going to be a lot easier to tie these boards on. First board splint goes underneath, kind of at a diagonal. Second one goes on top. Again, padded side towards the patient, making a sandwich. If you can hold those. Watch your hand under there. Then I'm going to take my triangle bandage, tie it off in the middle first, making sure that it's tight and secure. Wrapping it back around our patient's arm and tying a knot. If I was to tie this knot and it was on my patient, I would have to pad underneath the knot. Take a second triangle bandage, go around the lower half of my patient's arm, securing it into place. And my third triangle bandage coming on top of my patient. And securing it into place. Now I need to go back and check and make sure that my ties are, are tight. This one happened to loosen up, so I just need to retie it. Now all I need to do is check pulse. Can you wiggle your fingers? Sensation? Yes. Feel me touching which yes. finger? Pinky. Pinky. And then we can strap it to our patient with a swath if we want to or if we need to for our comfort.